All right. Yeah, I don't know. I've got so much that has happened today gaming-wise that I didn't expect. I just thought I was actually going to uh, come home and um, do a bit of my uh, my own game, but uh, things have not gone that way, and I'm super uh, ultra happy. This uh, game arrived today in the post. This is from Ken, Ken X, um, a fellow YouTuber. I was going to play the Gorlitza uh, Tarnif Breakthrough. We started, actually, he played the first turn, made an unbelievable, uh, fantastic Vassal module. We talked about it over Zoom or, or whatnot. And then I, I think it was also starting a stream, um, setting up the, the initial uh, live streams and uh, gearing it towards him like to make sure that he could watch it That's why it was at a, like five in the morning on Saturdays and so on and so forth Anyways, I've been watching Clark Commando 1983 another uh, youtuber Commenting often on the unconditional surrender uh, game a playthrough that he's been doing it seemed or does seem like a um, bit sandboxy the way he's explaining um the rules and the playthrough, I'm grasping it rather quickly. It doesn't seem too um, complicated, and it also seems to allow me um, to have fun and uh, make a lot of decisions. I was like, okay, and it seems to flow really well. I was like, wow. That being said, um, yeah, I know I'm Mr. Great War, and I'm going to stay there, trust me. But I, I interact with other people, and I also like to look at other at any game that I can use their mechanisms or ideas or whatever and, and pull them in into my narrative game. Ken sends me an email and says, Hey man, I'm trying to pare down my uh, games. Notice your comments on Clark Commander 1983. You liked it. You want... Guys, this thing's heavy. I'm amazed. Thank you so much, Ken. You have no... Like, well, you do. Um, this is an awesome shape. It's really heavy. I'm amazed that it showed up so quickly. Let's take a look. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen it before. It's the older uh, uh, whatever. It looks, like I said, I'm just going to take a look super quickly. Actually, let's, let's come on. Let's get to the good stuff. Um, look, oh, gosh. Does somebody ever take good care of their, uh, their stuff? Right on. Thank you, Kim. I'll try to take care of... Uh, your stuff, uh, or my stuff, or whatever. I don't want to see this proper. Let's take a look. Yeah, 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 it's not the newest whatever. But like Clark Commando 1983 said, um, just make sure you download the newest living rules or all the updates or whatever off of whatever, and I will. Um, yep, I've been watching, like I said, I've been watching him play, and it's just been a lot of, hell of a lot of fun. Yeah, it's going to be neat to see. Uh, anyways, I was saying to, and here we're going to go into the dovetailing. I'm going to give this a shot. I really want to give it a shot. Not me, myself. And that's the whole reason why I'm not so worried. Like, oh my God, you, you, I'm, you know, if I did, who cares? You know what I mean? All of a sudden, if like, I, you know, like I said, if I slipped and fell on the uh, ground or something, woke up and went, man, I'm really into like the Seven Years War. Well, away we go. Um, so that's that. And I was talking about this game today with my game buddy, Rob, who I work with and who's actually probably going to be joining the team or the group that I'm in, not the team, but the group I'm in. And um, I'm running pocket battles. Um, like I said, it's going to be like a double or whatever, or quadruple. It's going to be a rant at the end. I'm sorry. But, uh, oh my gosh, I can't wait to put this uh, on the table prop. Look, life is a bounty. It can be anyways. God, Chris, just remember that. Um, anyways, never thought I was going to get this uh, this version of the, the fourth edition of the Pocket Battles game. Ah, I was like, whatever, I'm not interested in the American Civil War. I'm not a completionist and all that stuff. Um, there was There is somebody that repeatedly shows up at the Can Games event. I even told Zoe Dufar, I'm like, tough. I do it every Friday after, uh, afternoon at Can Games. Now I'm calling it a Can Games Classic. They have them. And I've been doing it for like a few years now, for crying out loud. Anyways, I finally now have the fourth uh, edition. And like I said, it wasn't really like, eh, whatever. Um, 
I should have done it way back in the day because it was it was only like about fifteen dollars Canadian. I I paid a little over fifty. Extremely happy though I do have it. I got to play not the full on. I'm gonna give the game to Rob. We only did I think two turns, maybe three turns each. Probably only two. Um, just the way it went with the die rolls and. Um, I was just like, yeah, I mean, he was, oh, I was just like, what the hell? <laughs> I just kept saying to him, I was like, I hope to God this isn't Gettysburg or whatever, because the uh, the Confederates are just whooping the Union. Like, it was nuts. Like, everything, I, like, I even had, I thought, a proper um, uh, good center, and he was just annihilating. It was just like, it was, anyways, there's some really good uh, troops here. We're going to take a super, super, no, we don't need to. I'm going to. Good coloring is what I'm trying to say. There was. I'm glad I played it with Rob. Uh, due to the fact I haven't played it in a year, I'm about to play it in a week with uh, you know host it for people. Um, wish I'd picked it up earlier. It's a good one. Um, both of us were like, "Wow, this is a really uh, good version of Pocket Battles." It's also their fourth version, which means maybe they were starting to clue in about. Um, yeah, well, like right off the bat, well, I think the first turn we didn't do any, maybe even the second turn. Um, I probably started risking it because I was getting a beating. Um, we were just doing artillery shots. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, well, what's the point? Like we both have some really good artillery. It was fun. Um, and then uh, just uh, connecting the dot. Anyways, like I said, so I, I mentioned then to Rob, I was like, Rob, there's somebody from blah, blah, blah. Um, like, I don't want to go into the, you know, details. <clears throat> He's sending me this. Rob, I think you're going to like this. Remember, we were playing U.S. Civil War. It's got that kind of, like, strategic movement and tactical movement. And I'll just put it on a table downstairs. And I'll just leave it, blah, blah, blah. He's like, okay, I'll take a look. I'm excited. I think he'll like that. He's more World War II than um, uh, World War One. So that's the way it goes. And then I start making a video. Um, I thought it was Zoe Dufour phoning me. Nope. It was Crispy Galactic phoning me, talking about this, that, or the other thing. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so glad you did because um, it's been a game connection day. Um, just nutty, buddy. Um, also watching, you know, other people. And we're talking about Mary Mike and Charles Latora and Jezza One and Hex to Hex and... And, oh, darn it, a Telemachus because of the espionage stuff and so on and so forth. All kinds of things. Just bl oh, William Aarons, my God, you came up repeatedly. You have no idea. Um, and other people, I'm just saying. Um, trust me, you did. Uh, everything. It was just like so much flipping fun to talk about. Um, God, tomorrow will be seven days and I get to do this. I'm going to be hosting... Um, well, let me see, but yeah, I'll be hosting these things, and like I said, they're all interchangeable. I still, I'm partial to the Persians. I like playing the Persians, but these new abilities in the Confederacy versus Union, I'm like, hmm. Can you see them all? There you go. Yeah, so, oh, this is going to be fun to do, but uh, yeah, I was like telling uh, Crispy Galactic, I'm like, well, he knows of uh, Clark Commando 1983, but I was like, you gotta go take a look at some of his whatevers and Jezza One. I'm like, you gotta, yeah. He almost bought, believe it or not, Crispy Galactic almost bought the entire set. I was like, what the hell? Don't, like, save your money. And um, I'm not saying not buy it, but I'm just like, um, be efficient or be, you know, whatever. Yeah, okay, that's it. Um, I just, what a day. It's just been there, all these. Okay, maybe I'll go take a bit of a break and then uh, go play my game. Fun off. I hope you're doing the same thing. See ya.